What's good, everybody? <laughs> it's your boy Blaze back in full effect for Viper's Curry. <laughs> I know some of y'all been wondering, like, damn, where the fuck have you been at? <laughs> well, that's what happens when outside projects from school and poetry often, often takes its toll on your time and often kicks your ass. <laughs> but I just hate being away from everyone. And I was just here to let you know, I'm back. <laughs> but um, but I just want to thank everyone that keep that keeps up with me from uh, from it from Instagram to Twitter to Facebook. You know the whole nine yards. Just keep on supporting me no matter what field I'm, no matter what I'm going into. You know if it's if it's outside projects or it's school or or just supporting the movement of poetry in general. I really do appreciate that from every for each and every one of you. And I promise I promise I'm gonna be a little bit more frequent with my videos. <sighs> but um but uh the main topic of today is just letting go of ignorance and which is the main purpose of this poem. When I wrote this it was mainly in response to the whole Trayvon Martin verdict situation. And to those that watch the news, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it was crazy. But more on that. More on that after this. The title of this is entitled Whispers of Despair. Senseless acts of violence littering our, peace our peaceful veils of surrender. For what purpose? For justice? For retribution? For, or for absolution? <laughs> no. Selfish actions often turn into acts of bitterness, never relate to the cause of justice. As the devil has played his tricks, for he has royal flushed the community, driving them into a downward spiral of ignorance <laughs> and fuckery. It's time to wake up to reality. Being eternally raped of character will not provide absolution of the soul. So please stop and think. Ignorance only brings more pollution to our peaceful streets. As our fallen angels will be turned over in their graves. If bared witness to the world of today. So I implore all of you. Let the angels live in peace. As they will be our feathers to brighter days. But never in the darkest days will they allow us to live in anarchy. As they breathe peace and tranquility into our hearts and souls daily. Breathing life into an already dying world. Don't kill what it took generations to build. Don't kill our future, and please, don't erase the hope we instill in our heart, in our hearts. For I beg of you all, no more ignorance. Now, going on the topic of all those we have lost to to, I guess you could say, injustice, injustice, and unnecessary violence, unnecessary violence that takes place for no reason at all, and you keep on retaliating, hoping to get absolution, but going, but going all about it the wrong way is not the way to gain absolution. And completion in the soul. And it's true. It's never. It's never. It's never easy. Saying goodbye to a loved one so suddenly. But retaliating is not going to help bring them back. As this goes beyond the whole scenario of Trayvon Martin. As this goes beyond, 
as this goes beyond anything that has happened recently in the news. I mean, this is more the fact of the concept of absolution. And this is mainly what this piece is about is is to wake up and wake up and think. The only way you can gain absolution is to is to care is to always carefully think of the consequences. If actions were taken by go if actions were taken by going in just headstrong and without a without a clear thought or a thought out plan. What do you expect to gain from it? Like seriously. I mean I mean it's true that, you know, the whole Trayvon Martin Burton verdict situation was well, I'm not I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it for you. It was fucked up. I mean, it was extremely, extremely fucked up. And now you got George Zimmerman out here playing cow cowboy hero and shit. Trying to gain more absolution. <laughs> I got new I got news for Zimmerman. It ain't gonna happen because you basically just labeled yourself as a monster, in my opinion. And I know there's going to be different opinions about this, saying, "Oh man, what? Oh man, why are you on this whole Zimmerman case?" And blah 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 blah. I'm I'm just voicing my opinion. You don't like it? Hey, hey. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But that's just my point of view. I'm not changing it. But the main per the main moral of this poem is this. Don't add to the statistics of senseless violence. Just, just to gain absolution, just to gain, just to gain what you think is justice. For it, for in reality, the only way you can gain justice is you just believe. It's just to carefully believe that you can make a difference, and also, also never think, and also never, never add to the statistics of ignorance, because that's what, because that's what's blinding the world today, is complete ignorance and not thinking about, thinking about the actions or words said, before. The consequences take hand. As as we have as we have all lost someone to senseless acts of violence. Always know that always know that they are down smiling because they're still proud of you. And in any and every way. Don't tarnish that thought by becoming by becoming a statistic. That's what I just described in this poetic piece. And that's just real talk. But uh I hope you all love this video and next one will be coming next week. <laughs> you can best believe that. <laughs> no more long periods of rest of videos for me. And I hope and I hope you all loved it and and make sure make sure you all keep keep up with me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and not and not to mention and not to mention check out check out my SoundCloud. More material will be added real soon. That I can guarantee you, and you're gonna be surprised by what I came up with. <laughs> Till then, peoples, have, have a blessed and safe weekend. Blaze out, bada bing. <laughs>